Here we are. End of the season as we know it. And we is disco dancing. And, well, the disco folks all dressed up like they's fit to kill. But I'm going to walk on in and see them there. Going to give them all a thrill. Why? Because I am the host with the almost and the only name in quality management, Lance Skulls. And, ladies and gentlemen, this is our last chance to disco dance. You are back with the number one television program for pro wrestling worldwide. Disco Daddy being one funky family. Rip Jules going up against me, Dancing Machine Senior. All right, all right. Drop a coin in the slot. <sighs> Show them what you got. <laughs> You can dance, you can try Having the time of your life Ooh, who's that guy? Watch that scene, dig in the mean machine This week is truly the last chance And it's not just a theme, it's beyond a dance It is the last chance to hand me a regular season loss and that straw has been drawn by the Mean Machine Senior. Now you are a wily veteran of the ring with some pent up rage and I admire you so I have to know, are you going to be the hero that Top Down needs you to be and if so, what happens next? Do I lose all my momentum? Does my family descend into chaos? No. We will still storm into the playoffs just like we will storm into a Big West wrestling ring sooner than you think. So come, dance with me, Mean Machine. You may not get another chance. Smart marks, if you ever wondered, wondered whatever became of me. I'm living on YouTube with Big West Wrestling. Cause Tuesday night talk down's a place to be. But first I was afraid, I was petrified Thinking I couldn't beat Rick Jules with Max Cage by his side But I thought about it all week and I realized I was going about it wrong And I grew strong I'm gonna beat that sweater wearer Ding Dong Because you can't beat the M-E-A-N That's the mean machine M-E-A-N that's the mean machine. It's hard to spell, but Max Cage, go to hell. You cheated when you beat me and you smell. She's a dancing queen, albeit evil and mean. Dark Princess, taking on the newest, funkiest man to walk across the stage. Straight out of Funky Town, Maverick Jack. <laughs> disliked. 
which I don't understand because you, quite frankly, are very likable. You're very interesting. You're a great talker, but you're not liked, and I won't be someone who likes you either. I want to help you go down in rankings, so I clean eyes up. I can't be, I can't be in the playoffs anymore, so I can sure spoil it for other people. Bring them down in the rankings. Really. So, have a few two choices. Bow down to the royal season lockdown. Or leave. When American Sound says all around, they mean three great locations. Sunrise Mall, Florin Mall, and Freeway Close at Watt Avenue and Highway 880. And they mean all around in stereo systems. Everything you need, like this great Sansui system with a full-size record changer, these big three-way 12-inch speaker systems, and the Sansui AM-FM receiver. A fantastic system, and at the American Sound price of only $333. Only one of over 120 systems in the $200,000 inventory. American Sound all around Sunrise Mall, Florin Mall, and Watt Avenue at Highway 880. So you got yourself another victory. Right on, Disco Duck. But Casey Peak, right now you got to face someone who's gotten some victories without asterisks. Chucky Lee Ray. <laughs> Chucky Lee Ray. This week. It's our last chance to disco dance, my friend. It's my last chance to disco dance my way into a better position in the standings. It's your last chance to prove that you don't belong at the bottom of the standings where you've been all year. Much like myself. But you know what, Chucky? You've been improving the past couple weeks, man. You've been working on your disco skills. I see that every single week, bro. Now is your chance to put it to the test. This is like a Dancing with the Stars episode, man. Now is when you get to show the final product, Chucky. This is the last week of the season for you. For me, I still have a chin hair sized chance of making the playoffs. If one of those higher up guys decides to screw up this season, which wouldn't surprise me. And now Chucky, I know your thing is Chucky never dies, bro, but Chucky's never faced me yet in talk down. I'm gonna be the thing that makes Chucky die. Do you understand that, Chucky? Do you understand that? Chucky never dies until he meets Casey Peak in Talk Down. Really, Chucky? You have to record? Yeah, it's the final season of Tuesday Night Talk Down. Oh yeah, 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 I'm a... What? Yeah, I will cut my promo on Casey Peak. Okay. My manager here has been quite upset that I didn't come to him back when I first started these promos on Tuesday Night Talk Down. So if I would have had him by my side, I probably would have been able to make it to the playoffs. But Casey Peak, there's one thing that Chucky told me, and that is, there's not a damn thing you or anybody can do to beat me. Because you know what? Next season, I'm going on a murder spree. And the problem is, it won't be me that started everything. We all know that Chucky did it. Dylan Murphy sees himself as quite the Mr. Big Shot. But who do you think you are? Oh. You're the guy who's been winning most of this season and at the top of the rankings for a lot of it with the rest of the smoke circle. All right, that's who you are. All right. Max Cage. 
Are you ready to get down, get down, boop, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down to a new level to get the win tonight? <laughs> You were talking a lot of smack for somebody who was at the bottom of the playoff pack, Mr. Cage. And I was remembering that a while back, you were talking to one of my compadres and you referred to us, the smoke circle, as a sisterhood. That is a very strange and peculiar thought pattern to have in 2021. But hey, that's okay with me because the smoke circle's family. I've got all my sisters with me. Yeah, we are family. Your misogyny ain't no thing. That's right, my friend. Because whether they're my brothers or whether they're my sisters, we'll be staying on top. Staying on top. Ah, 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 ah. Staying on top. Staying on top. So you better turn the beat around. Or I'm gonna take you to Funky Town. Because I'm a super freak, you dig? And if you want to test me, number nine then this is your last chance to disco dance with the head of the smoke circle, baby. And baby, I got moves for days. You can't see these hips because y'all ain't ready for that. Staying on top. Super freak, you ain't got nothing on me, Cage. Time for me and you to have a fight. But not just any fight, Dylan Murphy. We're having a disco fight. It's going to come. It's going to be hard. And I'm going to come out smiling. Because this, all of this, including what's behind this door, all Max Day. Don't get me wrong. You've done a lot. You're number two? I respect that. I would love to be number two. By the end of it, you're going down. Earlier this year, Mr. India and his wife Chelsea were involved in a motor vehicle accident on Anarchist Mountain in Osoyoos, British Columbia. Mr. India suffered a concussion and injuries to his neck and right hand. Chelsea, however, suffered much worse. A fractured spine, multiple fractures to the pelvis, a broken dominant left arm and wrist that needed 35 staples, 12 stitches, 3 plates and 10 screws, multiple puncture wounds, 10 staples to her head, a severe concussion, and emergency bladder surgery. After spending 35 days combined in Kelowna, Penticton, and all of her hospitals, Chelsea was able to begin the long, slow, and painful road to recovery this March. Just recently, she posted this photo. There is still a long way to go, and Chelsea still needs financial support. At this time, less than 15% of the estimated $60,000 needed for rehabilitation has been raised. We know these are tough times for everyone, but even the tiniest donation means so much. Chelsea is a wonderful person, and we here at Big West Wrestling are behind her and Mr. India 100%. As always, thank you for your support. Now, Destro the Eskimofo, I know you know how to dance. You gotta be able to dance to say warm up where you is, but you're going up against Malik Malo. He's one bad soul daddy, and he's gonna show you why. So I'm not gonna lie. Tonight, tonight, this match right here for me personally, this is the match of the night. And that's no jive talking. <laughs> Malik, what are you doing in here, Mr. Malo? You are the last person I expected to be seeing here, sitting out while all the action's going on out there. What are you doing here anyways? What are you, oh, are you too shy? Is that what this is? You're too shy to be out there for the last dance? Come on, buddy, you know this is our last disco, and it is 1969, and ooh, 
I am going to be staying alive, Mr. Malo, because I am on my way to the playoffs. While you, my friend, I don't know, do you deserve it? Because here you are, sitting down, while you should be getting ready to go all night long, staying alive, baby, disco dancing, just like I do, because I don't know what I'm doing. But you know, the best part of faking it, Malik, is when you're good at it, nobody gives a sh**. It is that time, it is that time, it is that time again. The last time, last chance, for us to say something for the Golden Gates is good. Destro, you were talking that jive. Making some noise, saying all the right things, being the Eskimofo. And it's down to you and I to cap things off in this world of talk down. See, the world moves by the hand, my brother, of the master plan. Can't you understand you are but a grain of sand? And as you try to kick up your feet, make some moves, and disco your way up the rankings, just know there's always that one. That will catch you off guard and slip right by you. Cause that's the way the world, Destro. Your dreams of wanna talk down will be up in smoke, Destro. Cause when you make a wish up on a star, Destro, your dreams will take you very far. But when you make a wish upon a dream, Destro, life ain't always what it seems. Draven Andrews isn't always on time, but he can still get in Studio 54 on a Saturday night. And Blue Wilder, he's been practicing his steps, trying them out. So, gentlemen, here you go. Do the tussle! Blue, yellow, red, pink, white. So you see, wild man, you're about to get the full spectrum of light on Tuesday night. But you, sir, you're just blue. Abadi, abadi. Now, see, I should probably give somebody who's been molded by some of the toughest living conditions known to man. I should give him just. Just a sliver of respect, you know? Maybe. But you see, that's just not Dre's style. You see, I'm gonna leave you with this, Blue. Go get yourself trained up real nice. Get Mad Dog. Teach you every dirty little trick he knows in the book. Because believe you me, you're gonna need it. Because when the time comes, and I get to strap up my sled full of huskies and ride myself into the Northwest Territories to slap the whale blubber out of that big fat skull of yours. You're gonna need a lot more than just some guy who came to send you a lifeline back down to the Okanagan to save you, buddy. Blue dance. Draven Andrews, Blue Wilder, the shade stays on because the future is bright in and out the ring for me, Draven Andrews. I carry myself. I am the best in T.A.W. And I'm getting better on my promos. The shade stays on. And Blue Wilder is in his element. For two guys, for two young guys, eh, Draven Andrews? I seen your work too in the ring. Don't sleep on Blue Wilder. I'm getting better and better and better. I hope everyone in this season finale took a note or two 
from Lou Wilder. And I hope you are still listening and watching Blue Wilder. You want it, fans? You got it. Face shields, headbands, $15 each. A combo for $20. Include shipping. Limited run. Don't miss out. Order now. Jeff Christie, time for you to shake your groove thing. Shake your groove thing. Yeah, yeah. Because you got to keep in step with the boogie-woogie dancing shoes of your entertainment provider, Justin Sider. <laughs> Tuesday night talk down. This week, I take on the man who calls himself One Stiff Drink, your entertainment provider, Mr. Justin Sider. Now, Justin, welcome to Jeff Christie's School of Disco Dancing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Or however they decide to do their disco dances. Now, Justin, you've already solidified yourself a playoff spot but me this is my last week to disco dance my way in to solidify a playoff spot so justin once again welcome to jeff christie's school of disco dancing What a time at the disco. Oh, sweet JC. It's JC versus JC. And Jeff Christie, well, you may see just a sweet disco ball. I see thousands of possibilities staring right back at me. Now, like I told you before, if you're gonna be a copycat, you gotta be as good or better. So I do feel bad though. The promo school did not work out. But don't worry, there's still hope. You could always go into photography or something. So anyway, there's one thing I gotta give you comments for. You see, you've been saying all season how you are going to be the next internet champion. You are gonna be the next internet champion. Jeff Christie is going to be the next internet champion. And I didn't believe it at first, but you said it so many times that you damn near got me convinced. But then a quick check of the rules confirmed that there is no internet championship this season. So I'm sorry to be the one to inform you of this, but those dreams just won't come true. But kudos, you had me this close. So hope your feelings aren't too hurt, my friend. But don't worry, we got a good friend, and we got a good song. So I got one for you, baby. So don't forget, when I see you in security, we are family. <laughs> Main event, and it is raining men in a match that is sure to burn this disco down. The Advocate, showing that he's still the super freak of the smoke circle, taking on Red De Niro. He's your boogeyman. That's what he am. Uh-huh. Gentlemen, this is the last, last main event of the season before the playoffs. And, well, it's going to be a barn burner at that, so all that's left is to ring that bell. L. L. Ring the bell. Ding, ding. With all the inconsistencies of Tuesday Night Talk Down, ladies and gentlemen, one thing stays consistent. Main event advocate. I main evented your very first week, and I main event the final week of standard competition. And what can I say about my opponent that hasn't already been said? He's a handsome man, he's a smooth talker, he's a great kisser, but above all else, he is Red De Niro. And just like Disco Fever did in the past, he has swept through Tuesday Night Talk Down with what he likes to call Red Fever, infecting every single one of you with his complex layers of verbal beatdown. But Red De Niro, I see right through you. I see a man who's trying to hide his 1-5 in five record from Season 2. I see a man who's trying to hide the car vignettes of the past. I see a man who's got many tricks up his sleeve, but my hands are clean. Red De Niro, you can try and hide all the red flags that you have displayed, but my tinted shades do not disguise 
Mr. Red De Niro, this entire season you have attempted to blow the smoke from the circle in my own face, but now I'm seeing clearly. And I apologize to all of you for causing a little bit of panic at your disco. But Mr. Red De Niro stepped to me and witnessed Disco Inferno. And I guarantee you, this is one dance that even you can't find the rhythm to. Do not stray. The Advocate versus Red De Niro. Something that I've been waiting a long time for, and I hope all of you feel the same. Two of the best here on Talk Down. The Advocate being one of the best here since he's joined. The kid from Kane County, Tennessee, ripping it up in the British Columbia pro wrestling scene, promo back. Much respect, you know I have it for you, brother. You're a member of the Smoke Circle, and everybody wonders why, like you're a little outcast or something, but I can tell you why. You're a great damn promo, and I love your heart. But everybody keeps asking the advocate, what is he the advocate for? And I know it really pisses him off. But the secret is, I know what he's the advocate for. I know because he is like a brother to me. And I am gonna need a bigger comb for this one. The advocate is the advocate of disco dance, baby. And he'll never tell you, but that's what he is. He showed me his dance moves. Something like this. Disco, disco, ee, ee. Disco, disco, baby. Disco, disco, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Disco, disco, good, good. I'm the advocate of disco. Ooh, ooh. Hey fans, don't be no jive turkey. Please choose a winner or a draw for every dance on the card, plus a promo of the week and match of the week for your ballot account. Simply reply in the comments on YouTube or on the Big West Wrestling Facebook page. Deadline for this dance is Wednesday, June 9th at 9 p.m. Pacific. Come on down and boogie. So let's